Welcome Virgo to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma and today we'll be reading for June 2020. Perhaps a little bit beyond that. Time is fluid as we all know. Currently Virgo, there are no planets in your sign. Um, kind of might be feeling like there's a lot of chaos around you right now, but you're somewhat flying under the radar. Um, but certainly watching everybody else seemingly <clears throat> losing their minds right now. But generally staying very grounded, very level-headed among all of that chaos. I'm going to get straight into this. All the disclaimer -y stuff about the reading, how it resonates, cross-watching, the signs, the placements, everything, all of that is in the description. Um, anybody returning knows all of that stuff by now. I just want to get straight into this because we have got a lot of cards to pull today. I'm going to settle in. I'm going to be with you for a while today, Virgo. You in June, the chariot. Love it. Gorgeous. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you focused on? What are you looking at? Okay, let's pull some clarifiers for each of these positions. I do a, a meditation before each time I read to clear the energies of the previous read to you know try and take myself out of it and to really focus on the sign and I've started actually taking notes from these meditations so I can just you know not at length but just give you a brief outline of kind of what the feeling was and for yours Virgo very much felt a sense of you trying to control something rather than going with the flow um, like there's a new cycle on the horizon, like a breakthrough perhaps, but you are very much trying to control the narrative. Um, I'm not sure how that will fit in. Usually what goes on in the meditation. Okay, so you're, yeah, yeah, you're rearing to go. You're chomping at the bit that shouldn't be crossing. I'll pull the crossing in a moment. Um, so what we've got here for you, Virgo, for your overall energy in June is the chariot and the seven of pentacles. The chariot is, well, they're both number seven for a start, which is um, great energy to be in. Sevens is um, reevaluation, reflecting, observing any obstacles that stand between you and your goal, and then adjusting accordingly so you can dress said obstacles. And both of these cards speak of this. The chariot is a card of the sign cancer it's the moon and it's cardinal water a lot of readers see the chariot as fast swift forward mo momentum and movement it's not actually it's the intention of all of that but you're not actually moving yet it's like you're gearing up to move you're preparing yourself to move you're ready to move you know this charioteer here this gorgeous charioteer guided by all of these stars which do provide that guidance where are you going suited booted in his chariot ready to go about to take off but he's just sort of navigating his forward path before he really launches into action and the seven of pentacles here very much confirming that because the seven of pentacles is third decan taurus it's the planet saturn in taurus and it talks about impatience or having to have patience it talks about taking the time to decide where it is you're going although i would say the chariot here definitely um suggests to me that you do know where you're going you're just considering how you're going to go about it let's see what's crossing you the magician okay so you don't know how you're going to make this happen the magician mercury gemini virgo it's your card by proxy virgo because you are of course ruled by mercury bear in mind we have a mercury retrograde coming in in june is it that time again already yeah because the world wasn't crazy enough we just needed to throw a, a mercury retrograde into the mix as i'm set sat here i think we've i think it's seven planets are now in retrograde right now <laughs> oh yeah um things are crazy right Think things are crazy try to 
remain present. See this as if things, like I said, I do feel you're to an extent flying under the radar, Virgo, but you know, if things are really, especially for my Virgo empaths out there, if you're really feeling this, try to see it as a bit of a test to see if you're ready to take the next step. Sit in the now, be present with yourself, stay beautiful and grounded like I would expect a Virgo to remain. This is having a clear vision. And what we've got here is, right, I'm ready to go. Here's my path. I'm assessing any obstacles, but this is crossing you. Having a clear vision is what's crossing you. Let's clarify and we'll see if we can really dig into this. Goodness me, look at this. Wow. Um, where are your thoughts and energy directed right now, Virgo? The magician whether he's in reverse or crossing or he's still making something happen but the fact that this is crossing you there it's not hesitation you're ready to go i think there are some potential obstacles and while you're sit while you're sat rather assessing those obstacles and how am i going to get past those to you know it's like i'm here my destination's here but this is in the way. How am I going to navigate my way around that? And you're a bit stuck, but you do have what it takes. And I think you know that. I don't think you're sat there, you know, throwing your arms up in the air. I, I, just, I just don't know. I don't have any answers. I don't know where I'm going. No, not at all. You, you are firm. You are resolute. You know where you're going. You are just figuring out how to get there right now. It's good energy. It's good I like it, Virgo. Let's see what lies at the root of this situation. See if we can get an idea of where it is you're going, or at least what the obstacles might be. Hmm. Eight of Cups. Okay. Are you returning? Because this is after Tarot. Okay, so I'm sure if you're familiar with my channel, you've seen me crack this deck out before. I love this deck. And I've used it with traditional tarot here so we get both sides of that story the after tarot it's gorgeous it's like the snapshot after what we would see in traditional now i've got two of the same card to show you here what i mean this is traditional tarot with all of the aces the four aces on his desk here after tarot is that it's like the next shot now he's using and utilizing the aces here to create his own reality <clears throat> excuse me in the eight of cups this is saturn in pisces so this was a saturn card as well the eight of the nine ugh, the seven of pentacles so we've got heavy saturn energy here which speaks of timing and reflection hmm this is rejection not wanting something bad choices cutting your losses that kind of stuff but look what's going on in this card somebody's come back to have another look at these cups that were rejected let's clarify somebody is seeing the beauty in something that was rejected the empress venus taurus libra reconnecting with a feminine energy seeking pleasure looking for fulfillment now this is seeking and looking i'm not sure if this is you however because this is what's caused you to sit down and take a very good clear focused look at where you are going and the reason why you're doing this is because of this coming back to take a look at something that was rejected and seeing how beautiful it really is it's like it could be that you rejected somebody virgo and now you're seeing this person and wanting to return it could be completely the other way around it could be that somebody that rejected you is now seeing you in in quite a different light it's like oh somebody went off because they thought the grass might be greener very much came to the conclusion however that the grass was certainly not greener and now they want to return to that beautiful virgo pasture 
This does not have to be in a romantic sense, Virgo. Please take this however it resonates for you. This could be a romantic interest that tried to leave, couldn't really get over you and has either come back or is certainly seeing you in, in a new light and is perhaps wondering how to come back and take a peek at these cups that were left behind. This could be a job situation. You could have taken a significant time away from that profession and now you're deciding you want to return to it. This could be an old work getting back in touch and asking, you know, offering you another job. This could be somebody who left in geographical terms to go and do something and is now returning to somewhere that they feel is home. This could be a spiritual return for you, Virgo, of some kind. Now, I've offered you several different ways of looking at that. This could be something to do with family. This could be something to do with friends. And I do want you to take whatever fits for you, Virgo, because this is a general Virgo collective read. Of course, this could not possibly resonate for all Virgos, but the messages that need to be heard will be heard and you need to, and, and they will fit the circumstances of your, you, your circumstances, if they are indeed resonating with you. If not, go check out your moon sign, specifically rising sign for this kind of read. Um, if you are looking at a love interest, then yes, of course, go and check out your Venus sign. Honestly, I'm really not surprised we're seeing all of this returning energy right now. As I said, all of these retrogrades that are going on right now very much speak of giving you an opportunity to kind of have a do-over, return to something, go back and look at something, perhaps a sense of unfinished business here. It's come up for almost every sign that I've done right now. And, and with what's going on pl planetarily, I would thoroughly expect that to be the case. But yes, Venus is in retrograde, which speaks of returning love things, things to do with love. Um, but so many other planets are also in retrograde. So that... It does speak, it really could be any kind of returning energy for you here, Virgo. Entirely up to you to discern. Let's see the recent past for you. Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is um, second decan Pisces. It's Jupiter in Pisces. It's what I call the healthy selfishness card. I want to take a clarifier to see which way around I should be looking at this card. Okay. With the Six of Pentacles, <clears throat> which is the moon in Taurus. So for me, we are casting this into a shadow energy, <clears throat> into the moon. Sorry, I'm really struggling to talk. <clears throat> that very rarely happens to me. Um, I was absolutely fine 10 minutes ago before I started this reading. Is that an issue, Virgo? Are you struggling to speak? Is somebody struggling to s say the right words? The Six of Pentacles speaks uh, speaks of readdressing a balance, equal give and take, reciprocity, fairness. It also speaks of protecting yourself and your own self-interests, which is what's going on here. It's a card of the self. Not all nines are to do with the self. That does not necessarily mean selfish, it means introspective, taking care of number one first. But was there an element here of not sharing? These are both cards that speak about giving and taking and one having too much and the other not having enough. Recent past here would suggest to me there was a situation where one was giving and the other was taking. Um, certainly not equal give and take, unfairness. It could be that there was a situation here, Virgo, where you just gave your all and felt like you got very little in return, to be quite honest. Again, that could be flipped, however it resonates for you. <clears throat> it's not really giving me any specifics. It's kind of, it's quite vague. I do feel I'm tapping into several different kind of storylines here, which is which accounts for the vagueness here. And again, it really is up to you to decide how this fits for you. Let's have a look at what it is you're focused on. What, where is your where are your thoughts going right now? 
soulmate energy. Look at all of these cups, goodness me. This is certainly something that you're emotionally invested in here. The Six of Cups, the Sun in Scorpio. It's looking back, you're thinking about something. And again, looking back, all of this retrograde, you're looking back to someone or something from the past. This is memories, nostalgia. It's also the energy of renewal and reconnection. It could speak on a more spiritual level of a soulmate, a past life connection, twin flame, that deep emotional connection that you create with someone, that bond that just makes you believe that there's got to be more to this, there's something greater at work here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, my throat is absolutely closing up right now. But whatever this returning energy is, is that's caused you to consider where it is you're going, has you reflecting on the past. Let's clarify. Okay, so you're thinking about the good times, aren't you? The sun, beautiful. The sun, Leo, and fixed fire. This could be a childhood sweetheart. We've got children here. This could be something to do. This could be the mother or the father of your children. This could be your child. This could be a childhood sweetheart. There could have been a child involved here in some way, shape, or form. Or we could just be talking about... Looking back on that initial phase of love when everything was just wonderful and pure and warm and full of life and fun and happiness. You're thinking about the good times um, with somebody that was incredibly special to you, that is incredibly special to you, or a situation that really makes you feel warm when you look back on, on those good times. That, that's lovely. Let's see what lies ahead for you then. The Queen of Swords. Holding the truth in your hand. So, being true to your word. It, the Queen of Swords, yeah, she cuts, she cuts things out, doesn't she? She takes a really good, hard, cold look at the situation. She takes her emotions, all of these emotions I spoke about that are all over here. She pops them to one side even just temporarily so she can really take a look a cold hard look at the truth and then make decisions based on what's objective reasonable rational logical okay okay so let's clarify this uh, beautiful queen <laughs> nine of cups again so we've got the same card in the recent past and what lies ahead but you're cutting this out now okay so is this like saying hey look if this is going to be more of this that's a no um yeah it's 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 like saying either either observing the situation and making coming to the conclusion that it's just more of the same of this breadcrumbing that was going on here this not receiving you know giving and giving and not getting back this looking after your own self-interests here it's either saying i don't want to repeat there's a you know i don't want to go back and do the same thing again or it's observing realizing it is the same and deciding that that's not for you either way it's either expressing your unwillingness to repeat the mistakes of the past or actually seeing them and thinking yeah ah, okay this this is more of the same either way you will be sitting in that truth virgo regardless of the you know you, we can sit and we can reflect on these beautiful memories when if this is a romantic relationship okay for example for those of you that that's resonating for or if not just view this as an example often we look back on a relationship and we remember the good times we remember how much fun it was we have that nostalgia and we we can look back on relationships with rose-tinted lenses to an extent 
this is now moving into really seeing what's what the truth is and um not allowing that nostalgia to prevent you from making informed choices for your greatest good and about where it is you're going wherever it is you're going it's almost as though whatever this returning energy was okay for it to return it means that it left at some point this person or this situation so while the left while it was gone while it wasn't here you were figuring out where it was you were going you know in that beautiful virgo way that you would you know planning it all out looking at methodical step one step two step three having having it all mapped out in front of you and this returning energy returned and made you prompted you to kind of reflect on on what was good what was great what was fun what brought you warmth and joy but here perhaps we're realizing well this is an issue because this this beautiful plan these best laid plans that i have here don't include this because i thought this was gone right i'm going to just pop these over here so i can get some space so i can move along into the staff here let's see what your suggested approach is the queen of wands beautiful now we're sitting in two very gorgeous strong queenly energies here the queen of wands decisive focused she knows her worth and she knows her value she's not going to be putting up with this breadcrumbing rubbish she's confident she's independent she's determined and she believes in herself so the suggested approach is to sit in this self-belief confident energy where you know your worth the queen of wands does not run around and chase anybody because she knows who she is she knows what she is she knows what her value is and she allows people to see that and come to her accordingly let's clarify hmm five of cups more cups again but you've got a lot of the the bummer cups honestly <laughs> well you've got the six of cups which is gorgeous the five of cups mars and scorpio regret unfulfilled expectations disappointment wow i can see it can you this is somebody it's like the queen of wands here you sitting here in this beautiful queenly energy is granting this guy an audience okay i'm sitting i'm listening i'm waiting what is it that you would like to say to me you have the queen's ear and this gentleman look at his body language he's ashamed he's disappointed with himself he's full of self-pity and regret he's disappointed he he wants to be wanted this is wait it's the suggested approach the suggested approach here is wait hear them out before you make any informed decisions give them the chance to say their piece if they're a little bit slow on the uptake just wait just wait be present be receptive remain composed in that feminine that sincere composed queenly feminine energy and allow them to come to you and express their their ex the, the shame guilt for for what what occurred how that's powerful that is powerful be that queen sat prepared to give or grant an audience to somebody that needs to express everything we see in the five of cups what do you need to know virgo the hierophant taurus venus fixed earth there's a lot of venus a lot of cups a lot of saturn going on in this spread saturn speaks of timing cups speak of love and emotions venus speaks of love it's like waiting for love the hierophant speaks about commitment or certainly overcoming potential commitment issues it speaks of being predictable and reliable and loyal why is the hierophant here because that's what you need to build and plan 
you need collaboration you need to work together look how there are three figures here and three figures here the three of pentacles is mars in capricorn it's second decan capricorn it's playing the long game waiting you're ah, and and it's oh look at this impatience this is why we're not quite moving this is why we've stopped because this return is your obstacle did you manifest this return virgo and now it's here it's kind of thrown you a bit it's like you wished for this and you wished for this you wanted this to come back and then when it did it it actually shocked you you're like oh uh i didn't think you actually would come back or i didn't think the situation actually would come back around and now i'm like uh okay wh what do i you need what you need to know is that you need to know that this person or the people involved in this situation have learned and grown and are willing to work with you as opposed to this where Virgo just gives and gives and gives and this other party just takes and takes and takes no more of that thank you we work together as a team we're true to each other we speak candidly to each other we are open and we are honest and we are reliable and loyal to each other equally or it's a no beautiful we all need especially right now 2020 is just wow <sighs> I, and, I, and I did say when I did my Pluto and Capricorn reading in October last year that 2020 was going to be tough. I literally edited, it, edited in images of protesters with placards that anti-establishment set it. Um, you know, I knew it was coming, but I did not think it was going to be like this. Um, you know, the planets always guide us and help us. We cannot discount the energy of these massive bodies that do impact everyone on this planet every day. And we just all need a bit of give and take right now, don't we? We need kindness. We need love. We need compassion. We need empathy. And if you choose ultimately to cut this person out or, or to walk away from this situation, to press on ahead alone, you're doing it from what I can see because first and foremost, you're respecting and loving yourself. Hopes and fears then. Okay, so this is... It's the Four of Swords are you afraid this person will take too long or this situation let's clarify why is okay yes lovers yeah got it gemini mercury mutable air the four of swords is also a card of air but this one would be libra jupiter in libra third decan libra making peace that is a hope you want to make peace there is a desire here to connect a longing a yearning but the fear here is not being seen look how this woman it's, I know, I'm, I'm really dark today I don't know what's happened to the light the, the woman here she's not looking at the man yet it's like waiting to be seen and look how this man of course whether it's a statue or an epitaph or whatever um, she's kind of it's like there's somebody waiting to be seen here here it is here it is and it's here as well this queen waiting to grant an audience and all this waiting energy here and it's as though your hope is that this returning energy however it manifests for you this time around virgo your hope is that there's growth here lessons have been learned so you don't need to repeat this which is very much a concern you're not going back to do the same thing this is not picking up where you left off you're not up for that you want to see growth you want to see change 
But it's also very much this energy of waiting for somebody to get off their butt and notice you, to see you, to give you the validation or, or like the recognition of who you are. Are you waiting for somebody to recognize that you are a soulmate? Or are they waiting for you to recognize that? However, which way around it goes. Let's finish off then with um, the potential outcome for June. Remember, this is not the outcome of this entire situation here. This is just kind of where we close out in June and uh, what that and that will be our launch pad to bounce from into July. Strength, beautiful. This is such a gentle reading, Virgo. It's gentle. It's full of dignity and self-respect. There's so much patience here. Yes, the waiting, but I'm not feeling super frustrated by the waiting. It's more, if, if the waiting, if you're left waiting too long, you'll just move regardless. Um, so it's kind of like, like you're not waiting, but if it does come, you're prepared to, to hear somebody out. Strength. It's another card of Leo and here's Leo right here, crowning your spread here. The sun leo fixed fire um it's about figuring out ways to solve problems that go beyond brute force and where did we see this this trying to kind of work together energy going on here in what you need to know it's the strength to overcome any fear within strength shows up in a reading because you are strong but also because you need to be strong. What do you need to be strong for? Oh, the apology. Yeah, it's here and it's here. Look at this, this gorgeous fiery energy receiving this apology. And this gorgeous fiery energy receiving this apology. This is the outcome. It's coming. Someone's coming to apologize to you. Somebody's coming to tentatively wonder out loud if you would like to have another look at this cup because they've certainly come back and had another look at the, what they left it's very clear Virgo it's very clear what you do with that is up to you the cards are saying this is going to be this entire situation is going to be approached with kindness and compassion and love and did I not say we so need more of that in the world always but especially right now Virgo, I'm loving your energy. I am absolutely, you, you have, the energy I've taken from the collective I'm reading right now has just been so beautiful and warming for me. I'm going to go around the rest of my day just feeling wonderful. So thank you. Anybody who's still here, anybody that this has resonated with, thank you for this wonderful feeling of kindness and compassion that's come through your reading for me today i'm quite choked up because i'm feeling your energy and it's 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 just exactly what we need right now it really is I've, wow I'm, <laughs> Fogo, I'm gonna sign off now thank you so much for joining me here today take care you know i love you all very very much be kind be beautiful and i'll see you next time around